Many elves believed that their people had suffered enough and should not get involved in war again, instead living safely within the borders of the forests of Azria under the protection of Aegis, goddess of the moon. What Estes simply could not understand was that his sister Mia was on the opposite side of this internal conflict. Although she treasured peace, Mia still firmly remembered the moon goddess' last command to protect her people, no matter what. So she no longer wanted to see elven lives sacrificed in the name of righteousness. In the end, the vast majority of elves decided to defend the forests of Azria, but little did they know that they heralded a new catastrophe. The Lunar Aegis had the power to prevent the spread of spoil within its realms, but it could not stop a powerful army of demons. To attack the Menian Empire, the demon army bypassed the insurmountable Lantis Mountains and decided to travel from the Shadow Swamp, invading the Menian Plain from the Lunar Forest. In the face of a sudden invasion by an army of demons, though the elves resisted stubbornly, the demon army swept through the Moon Forest. The fire demon king, Thomas, set fire to the Tree of Life, where many elves resided, raining a hellish rain of death upon the forest. Mia blamed herself for the tragedy. She wanted to protect her people by avoiding war, but her inaction led to more sacrifice. And so she prayed day and night in the Moon Temple, hoping that the great goddess of the moon could grant her enlightenment and guide her on the difficult path ahead. But the sleeping moon goddess did not grant Mia the enlightenment she sought, and the light in the moon forest grew dimmer by the day. Estus and some of the other elves began to weaken as the moon's energy faded. In the distance, orcs and demons, led by Balmond, gathered in the wasteland of storms. This time their target was not the Mon Moni Empire, but the moon forest itself. With the great goddess of the moon still sleeping and Estus' power waning, Mia had no choice. Whether she was ready or not, war found her again. She was forced to assume her duties as priestess of the moon and led her people to defend her homeland. When the approaching sound of orc battle drums was heard, the troops of the moon forest also blew a horn that had not been heard for thousands of years. Mia, the moon priestess, took her silver bow and joined her people to fight in the moonlight. 